Dear Chairman, thank you for the invitation to present at the EBC 2020 meeting. Uh, the title of my uh, presentation is "Final Is Really Final Case Necessary for the Main Bifurcation PCR? Uh, look at this, the treatment strategy for the main bifurcation as we can uh, simplify one stand crossover, two stand technique. In case of a normal diminutive circumflex, we want to do one stand, diffuse this in large circumflex, more than 2.5 millimeter, uh, we want to do the two stand. When uh, we have to consider one stand crossovers, when we have to consider two stand, uh, according to the circumflex disease status by Ibis, uh, we want to choose the one stand or two stand. First, the case is angiographically, you know, truly bifurcation disease. However, obvious findings clearly demonstrate normal circumflex. With still part free of disease, we're going to do the just a single stand crossover. Second case is angiographically bifurcation disease. And by obvious findings, circumflex ostium has showed clearly severe disease. Large plaque burdens we did to stand crushes is quite a good angiograph results we can get. If there are circumflex disease, true bifurcation disease, uh, upfront two stand strategy are recommended for main true bifurcation disease. The reason why a large circumflex disease is worth of treatment, we can avoid the risk of side branch closure. Clinical outcomes of two stand are uh, good as much as one stand crossover. Right, I'd like to show the one stand uh, crossover for normal circumflex. A 72 male patient, actually the bifurcation and main disease. By obvious findings, circumflex also part actually very much, uh, you know, very minimal disease. So, uh, look almost a normal looking area. And so, we did a main and LED crossover. Long stand 23, 3.5 millimeter size, additional high pressure with a you know, non compliant blue, uh, we can get clearly good angiographic results. The circumflex ocell part is clear, not compromised after stain crossover. Circumflex ostium, uh, minimal stain area, uh, minimal lumen area is a 4.7 millimeter scale. Uh, look at this, there are many, you know, different cases after single stain crossover from the main to LED, compromise of a circumflex ostium is a different. Morphology, you know, 80 percent of a degree of stenosis and some radio loosens, some you know, calcific lesion undetermined, uh, you know, functional class. However, all cases are negative FFR. The meaning is many cases of mismatches in tail to circumflex after the main stand crossover. So, what do you think? In those cases, in these cases, do we have to consider final case routinely? So we have some data after stand crossover normal looking circumflex, functionally significant circumflex gelling is only 7% very small percent of a compromised circumflex has a functionally significant you know, disease status. Uh, two years long follow-up death and MI uh, compared with a uh, routine kissing balloon inflation and just a D4, actually no final kiss is safe and good. The circumflex D4 is good, good and safe. And so in case of uh, one stand crossover uh, over for the normal circumflex artery for the main bifurcation PCI, final kiss is, is really necessary? No, it's not necessary in uh, more than 90%. Right, second case is two stand for the true bifurcations. Whatever you choose, to any two stand tackling, mini crush, DK crush, T stand, cool loop, V stand, Y stand. Whatever you choose to stand, I, we don't have any data, to, um, you know, different clinical outcomes according to the different two stand technique, right? 70 male patient, true bifurcation, within a class 111, by arms findings, LAD osteum and circumflex osteum, they are pretty much plaque and digitization. So we did class mini crushings, so two stand on the circumflex and at 80 sequential high pressure and finally kissing balloon inflation is moderate pressure. You can get very good angiographic result after uh, kissing balloon inflation. So final obvious circumflex at 5.1 and at 80 8.8 millimeter scale is quite enough. 
effective standard of 5, 6, 7, 8 millimeters square by IRBUS can make a good clinical outcome. So reason is less than 5% and TRA rate uh, less than 2%. So in case of a true bifurcation, is a final case of real, real necessary? Yes, it's the really necessary in almost all cases, but multiple stand for true bifurcation disease PCI status. So I'd like to summary, practical guidelines, the main bifurcation PCI. IBIS assessment is recommended to both LAD and circumflex uh, separately. If there is no digit or circumflex host teams want to do the single stand in almost 75% of a bifurcation and main DD, after stand crossover, do you want to treat the JLD size branch concern? Consider FFR first. How to treat kissing balloon inflation and optional T stand, thing, whatever you want. Um, in true bifurcation, medical class 111 or 101, so we're gonna do we're gonna do the two stand 25%. How to optimize? Uh, you know, after the stand, I've effective stand it is five, six, seven, eight millimeters scales may improve the long-term clinical outcome. Thank you for your attention.